in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, define variables uh, in Python programming language we'll try to understand what is variable and then we'll also understand uh, you know how to assign uh, you know values to these variables and how to do operations uh, you know different types of operations uh, using uh, variables in Python programming language so variable as you might have heard in other programming language is um, is something that takes values and keeps uh, values uh, inside uh, or a hidden values inside and you can print it later on or you can uh, use the value uh, for different other purposes so if you're familiar with uh, mathematics you, you always uh, you know take a variable and you know keep on changing its value over time okay so it uh, it it's like uh, you know um, taking a space and then changing the value in that particular space okay um, so value variable could be uh, you know uh, of uh, you know different types okay a variable could take a value of uh, integer it could take a value of uh, you know string uh, or it, it could be you know a concatenation of integers strings integer strings and so on so we'll see a uh, couple of them uh, you know couple of these types and also we'll see how can we do uh, operation on them okay so a variable simple variable uh, could be uh, something like x okay x or y is something like that okay so we assign x as four okay so uh, so what it means is that we're assigning the value four to x and we can change it later okay okay so what we can do is that you know it could be uh, a capital uh, or it could be a small letter okay so uh, it's case sensitive so if we if it, we have already assigned it as uh, capital X so when we write capital X and then press enter we get the value that means the value 4 was uh, you know already assigned to X and it was hidden inside so every time you uh, you know um, you know you type X and press enter it's going to give the uh, hidden value of X um, remember this is case sensitive so uh, you have to be a uh, bit uh, you know careful about it okay okay so what what could be the uh, names of the variables okay you can have um, variable something like this okay uh, employee underscore salary right and then you assign it as thousands now in this case you will see there are two names employee and then there's there is salary so there are two uh, strings and then there uh, you know we are just making it as one variable uh, by using the underscore so this is one best practice used in many programming languages whereas for names uh, or some variables uh, there is often people use uh, the underscores right um, or else you can also use something like so instead of underscore just use uh, something like this uh, okay um, so that's also okay but you cannot have variables like this okay employee salary equal to thousand okay so you cannot have a space between these two strings and then this is going to throw an error as you can see on the screen okay all right so you, you not just uh, you, you, you can uh, assign strings as well so you can have let's say name name is a variable and then i'm saying a string uh, peter okay so name is a variable i'm assigning it uh, a string to this variable all right so when you type name and press enter you will get uh, peter all right you can do operation on this variables right so we define two variables let's say uh, x equal to 10 and then y equal to uh, 20 and we can do uh, quite a number of math operations on these variables 
let's say we want x plus y okay so x and y are not considered here as strings they are considered as variables which um, and each one of them having uh, integers or numbers okay so x plus y is given as 30 you can assign it to third variable let's say we say we assign third variable z as x plus y so x is one variable already assigned a value y is another variable already assigned a value both are numeric values or both are numbers or integers so we when we you know do some operation on them like we are adding here we can assign the sum of these two uh, variables uh, to a third variable known as z okay so this new variable z will be created in this and when we uh, you know uh, print z will have 30 which is sum of x and y all right so uh, you can do other types of uh, number of operations like you know uh, power of x let's say power of x is you know use a double asterisk and you know we want to square get the square of x so x double asterisk 2 so that's uh, 100 so 10 square is 100 <laughs> All right. We can also assign uh, the values to multiple variables, or we can define multiple variables um, uh, in 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 single go or at one go. Okay. So we can assign x y equal to uh, 10, 15. Okay. So in this case, we just separate it uh, by comma and then assign it with assign operator. And then write 10 separated by comma so x will be uh, assigned to 10 and then y will be assigned to 15 in this case all right now you will see what is x it's 10 what is y it is 15 like what we expected right so can we print x and y both at the same time let's say x y so it, it it's possible that we can also print x and y at the same time so it gives 10 and 15 sometimes uh, we want it uh, to be uh, dynamic that means the assignment should be dynamic that means the users should be able to provide a value to uh, to the variable okay and you know it can keep on changing uh, depending on uh, you know the users interest okay so that's how uh, that's why we are calling it as a uh, more like dynamic uh, uh, um, assignment uh, or dynamic definition of variables okay so just to make more dynamic we can use it uh, we can use the input uh, function to make it dynamic let's say we want to define x as input okay and then inside we just write place assign a value okay now what the input function does is it's going to prompt it's going to ask the user to give assign a, uh, a value okay now you will see when you place enter it asks you it asks you uh, a value okay and then you can you can just give any value let's say 10 we are you know providing x as 10 and you, you will see x is now assigned to 10 now when you you know print x it uh, you get 10 right so that's how uh, you can use input to make it more dynamic the ass assignment uh, of values to variables more dynamic all right so in the next session we'll see more about uh, or we'll learn more about python programming language please subscribe to the channel and See you in the next video. Thank you.